Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. Today we are talking about Shopify and Google Analytics. If you have created a new Google Analytics account in the past month and tried to connect it to Shopify, you've probably run into a few problems. Um, Google Analytics recently updated Google Analytics um, and they did it in a big way. There's a lot of changes. Uh, this happened in October 2020 is when they really pushed the um, update. And so since then, um, you, the, the way you connect Google Analytics and Shopify has changed. Um, before, what you, all you had to do to connect Shopify to Google, Analy Google Analytics was coming over here to your analytics account, go to uh, tracking info, um, tracking code, and grab your tracking code. That was right over here. This loads. Anyways, a tracking code will load over there that has like UA. Literally, here it comes. So all you had to do is grab this code right here and then come over to your store, go to preferences, and then paste your tag in there. Um, but the problem is now Google Analytics no longer is letting you create a analytics account with this UA code. From now on, the codes are gonna not have this little UA right here, and you'll see what I mean. So we're gonna go through and create a new Google Analytics 4 account. Um, so you can see what the differences are between Google Analytics and Universal, which is the UA Universal Analytics, and Google Analytics 4. And then we are going to, sh I'm gonna show you how to connect Google Analytics 4 to your Shopify store. So we're gonna exit, we're gonna delete this because that way it no longer works. We're gonna come over here to um, marketingplatform.google.com slash about slash analytics right over here. We're gonna start for free. And we're gonna create a GA4 account. We're gonna do it as quick as possible and then get Google Analytics set on your Shopify store. This process isn't hard, don't let it intimidate you. Um, we're gonna call this Corbin, I don't know what we're gonna call it, Zoco Apparel. Um, I'm gonna create just a demo apparel. I've been creating a demo apparel shop. Maybe I'll make it a real one one of these days for Zoco Marketing, but um, we're, just, we're just playing around here. So we're gonna call this Zoco Apparel. There we go. Make sure your time zones are correct. Um, I am in Denver time zone. So, and your currency is correct. And then hit next. So your property name, you can do this either as your website or as the name of the business that you're doing. Um, I don't have a domain for this yet. Uh, this I just have my demo Shopify store, but Zoco Apparel, maybe I'll make it one, one of these days. And we'll hit next. And I am a small business category. You can select one of these if you'd like. Um, do they have clothing? e-commerce come on Google I'm gonna say we are boom 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 anyways choose one of these whatever one makes sense the most for your business I'm trying to call it hobbies and leisure um then you can check any of these I just I uh, would you know, we can just check any of them. This really doesn't matter. This is more for Google's data, not for yours, for them to like put you in buckets basically. Um, agree to these terms and conditions. I accept. And there we have it. Okay, so after you've created this account, we are now in GA4, Google Analytics 4. They, I have not found a way to go back to Google Universal Analytics. So if you're creating a new Google Analytics account, this is what you're going to see. Um, and we are going to be doing a web. So we have to create what's called a stream. So we're going to click web right here. <clears throat> and we're going to give our, uh, we got to put in our website URL right here. As I mentioned, this is a demo Shopify store. So I don't even have a domain attached to it yet, but we're going to grab this guy. We want it without the um https because google analytics has it here for us so we're gonna do that www dot and then i'm just gonna call this uh zoco zoco apparel same thing and spell apparel and then we are then gonna hit create stream now this is gonna give us our code and you're gonna notice one big difference from universal analytics right away so Right here, the measurement ID, it starts with a G. And I think it doesn't always start with a G, maybe it's different letters, but it doesn't have UA. So if your Google Analytics code does not have UA in front of it, that means you have a Google Analytics 4 account, not a Google Universal Analytics account. 
If you've set up your Shopify store previous on Google Universal, Universal Analytics, you don't need to change it at this point. Um, there probably will come a time when you will need to, but um, don't worry about it right now. But if you're creating a new Shopify store, new Google Analytics, then you're gonna have to go through this process. So we're gonna go here, click down on this global site tag. We're gonna click the little copy guy right here. And then we're gonna scroll over to um, Zoco, Apparel, Zoco Apparel. And we're gonna ignore this. This will not work. If I copy this base inside this code inside here, it will not work. We have to act, actually add it into the code, which don't let that intimidate you. It's not that hard, um, not that difficult. We're gonna go home. And we are going to go scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, whoops. I'm like, where, where am I looking? Not home. Go to online stores. I'm like, what the? You had a brain fart there for a minute. Online stores, and we're going to go to actions. Um, and if you want, you can duplicate your site. If you're worried about editing the code, think you might break something. I feel pretty confident in putting the just a, a, a global site tag on uh, the on the website. You can duplicate your site right here if you want to have a backup just in case something breaks. I You don't need to worry about it too much. This isn't too scary of stuff. So we're going to go into edit code. Like I said, don't let that scare you if you're new. Um, these kind of things. I'm not a coder and this, this is not uh, too crazy. So I hit theme liquid right here. So theme.liquid is what we're going to do. And Google, Google Analytics even tells you if we go back over here, we want to put this in the head tag. So right there, head tag and as high as we can. So we're just going to simply, all this is, is copying and pasting. We're going to go back over here. We're going to find this head tag. So there it is. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit command V because I'm on a Mac or whatever paste is. And there is the global site tag. Google Analytics is now on our Shopify store. We're gonna hit save. Asset saved. And now here is how we can check that. We're gonna to go to our website. So we're gonna to go to zocoapparel.myshopify.com. And you're gonna to wanna to download the Google uh, Chrome helper, Google Tag Assistant right here. Um, download this onto your Chrome browser, Google Tag Assistant, hit enable. Then refresh your page. Then scroll over here. And there is our code. So we can see it's firing, it's blue. Um, there's our GAR blah, 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 which matches this code over not on this one, right here. And that is how you currently set up Google Analytics on your Shopify store. I imagine Shopify will be updating this so you can copy the, the code um, in the coming months or so. I will update this video when that does happen. But for now, this is the way that you add Google tag or Google Analytics to your Shopify store. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Uh, appreciate it.